Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, so I'm back with um, an experiment that I tried to do yesterday that didn't work at all. A couple of new techniques, and we're going to retry that experiment that I tried yesterday that didn't work so well. So um, going ahead and starting with what I have on my face, um, I'd actually gotten the e.l.f. Uh, yeah, Halo Glow. I got mine in Fair One, and um, I also got the e.l.f. Um, Woe Glow. Uh, this one and I realized that with this one um, you know having the SPF I wasn't using this one at all so I went back and uh, shopped my stash and what I found was that I have this glow oil uh, from Supergoop and I've been going ahead and mixing it with this one um, to try to go ahead and get a lot of use out of this because I didn't want to, you know, let this go to waste while I was using this because it has SPF in it. And uh, this Super uh, Goop Glow Oil is actually an SPF of 50, so it's a higher SPF, but it mixes really well with this. And so this is what I have on as far as my primer today. And then what I went ahead and used as my base was the LYS, um, and I have mine in 3 Neutral. So that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the bronzer, I just got in the LYS uh, bronzer in medium, and mine actually came broken, so I'm not going to open it because it's it ends up getting bronzer all over everywhere so that was kind of you know but it happens so um as far as what i have on the eyes i do have the superhero it okay so um yeah i have the superhero it as far as uh my mascara and the thicket stick it by uh nyx the cool Lash brown and then as far as the lips, I have um, It's Complicated by Oma, the one that you can get in Walmart, and then the Tower 28 in Cashew. Uh, so that's what I have there. As far as what I went ahead and did for the eyeshadow, um, like I was explaining in the last uh, video, with this particular eyeshadow palette, um, if you go ahead and use the corresponding mat to the shimmer, so you put the mat on and then you put the shimmer over it, it makes it a lot more, um, a lot more of a pop. And so I did that. I used blooming on the lid and then uh, blossom over here on top of that. And then I went ahead and used lilac you. Um, uh, in the crease and then I went ahead and put the purple orchid over the top of it. Um, I did use daffodil which is actually this shade and I used that on the inner corner and then right under the brow and so that's the look I have on as far as the eyeshadow and this is how that turned out and um, as far as going ahead and doing the experiment that I was doing um, I'm going to do a couple of different colors than what I was doing before. I got the Revolution. Uh, this is the tin, or the blush balm that comes in a tin. And so I actually got three colors. Um, let's see. This one is the peach. This one is the rose. And I went ahead and got the plum, too. And today, um, I'm going to go ahead and just use hopefully do this experiment a little bit better than I did it yesterday. Um, so we're going to try building to see how much you have to actually build it, how many layers. And so one side is going to be the rose and the other side is going to be the peach. And um, then I'll probably mix them at the end. But uh, you do need to break the seal on these. So um, and then go ahead and dab into them. Um, I do have the bronzer on today, the medium from LYS, and I didn't have that on yesterday. Um, I had a powder one 
that we used uh, the Sunrise by Flower. So, yeah, that's just about two layers right there to see how that one works. And then on the other side, this is the peach, which I think has the most pigment of any of the colors. But at least this can probably give us an idea of how much you how many layers you actually have to put on because you see uh, now if I go back to this one it's all sunk in it's giving really pretty glow but it pretty much sunk in and it doesn't have a lot of color to it again just so let's go up with a third layer here and this is the rose again and a fourth layer see how much color we can get there and then on the peach side going in for the third layer okay so that's the third layer the fourth layer on both sides so I don't know, I guess we could go in for a fourth layer. Actually, why don't I switch them this time and... Okay, this is the rose side and this is the peach side. So this time we're going to go in with the peach over here to mix it. I think I got that right. This is where I went wrong last time. And I was trying to... Okay, so that's a fifth layer, and it didn't take that long, so, you know, that's um, good. I think with these, um, I think the glow lasts a lot longer than the actual color does, and so um, if you do want the color to stay all day, I would definitely go ahead and use the powder over it. This is the bronzer. I got the Kiss of Rose which is new to me and so I thought that I would go ahead and put a little bit of that over the top whoa that took it there <laughs> blend 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 so yeah that really <laughs> took it into a rosy cheek. So, yeah, maybe we should use a little bit of highlighter here to bring it down a little bit. I didn't expect it to work that well, but it is kind of starting to sink in as well here. I guess we could do that test again with the hair. So, let's see if it sticks here. Yeah, I did. A little bit. Yeah, it sticks. So, um, yeah, it is sticky. Um, let me go ahead and put a little bit of powder. I, um, I used the Glowish yesterday and I didn't have any problems with it. The other question with using some powder is whether or not you're going to go ahead and get rid of all the glow and how it's supposed to be, you know, a natural looking cheap product. So I don't think I got rid of all the glow. And yeah, I do think I'll go ahead and use a highlighter on top of it. This one's a Charlotte Tilbury. There we go.
So, um, yeah, that's the way that uh, these um, blush bombs work. And, yeah, I think they're fun. And I definitely am definitely going to use them during the summer when I'm just running errands. And I just want to look like, you know, I got... I put myself together in the morning before I got out and went and did stuff. So um, these don't claim to have any skin benefits like the uh, the other ones do, the ones from Jones Road. Um, but they are very pretty. And uh, yeah, they just take a couple of layers to get them on. And if you put a powder over them, then they're not going to have that grip or that, you know, grab all your hair and keep it on your face sort of thing. And um, I think they're pretty. I I like them. Um, I also didn't expect the bronzer to go ahead and have that much color, but it does. And uh, I think the only other thing that I was going to go ahead and uh, talk about in this video was uh, having the thicker curly hair um, one of the things that I just found, and I'm probably late to the game, but um, is going ahead and getting some thinning shears. And that way, in between haircuts, I can go ahead and go in and go ch -ch 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 and get rid of the extra bulk that my hair naturally you know, mix, and I'm finding that that is working really well. You can actually get these over at Amazon, and um, they're not very expensive. I think these were like $8.99 or something, and it helps just to be able to thin out everything so that you, you know, feel like you still have more of a haircut instead of having things going all which ways. And so I think that's uh, the video for today. And I am glad that my experiment worked this time. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.